Hi, everybody. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning to the channel, what up, y'all? <laughs> so welcome to your readings for the second half of May. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Please do not try to fit anything in where you don't feel like it fits, yeah? This is... Uh, these are readings for a lot of people, so just if it doesn't resonate with you, boop, just let it go and move forward. Um, I do want to, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. I am very, very happy to be able to do this for you all, um, and I, I honestly couldn't be more grateful for the kind words and the feedback that you have been giving me about um, how the readings are resonating with you. I am so grateful that you guys are here and I am lovingly continuing to do this for all of us, yeah? I also want to thank those of you who have donated to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. I am doing this for free, um, so, you know, any sort of energetic exchange is greatly appreciated, yeah? You know, I'm extending the energy and you extend the energy back when you donate, so, I thank you all so, so, so very much. Let's see, what else? I am available for private readings. You can find uh, the readings that I offer in the de description box below, as well as my email address. If you would like to order a reading, just shoot me an email and let me know how you would like to proceed. Um, please make sure to take a second to read over the different options that are in the description box below. That way you can either choose what you want and we can streamline the order process, or if you're not quite sure, you can just send me an email slightly describing what's going on and usually I'm able to pick up, you know, which reading would be best for you. If you don't have a question, don't worry. Just come forward and we will talk, yeah? I can just channel the energy and see what, give you whatever messages spirit wants to send you, yeah? So I believe that's it. How about we get into these readings? Yeah? Let's do it. Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the second half of May 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get into it, yeah? All right. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Capricorn for this time period of May 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you. Capricorn, we're seeing a lot of green energy right now. I mean, we are, you are, Capricorns are earth signs, so maybe that's it, but I feel like I feel like there could be a lot of healing happening for you right now, Capricorn. So that's nice. Okay, we'll give you one more shuffle. All right. And I will cut the deck. Okay, Capricorn, your overall energy. We have, ooh, the Four of Wands. Now that's very nice, and it does kind of fit in with the healing energy I was feeling. You're very, you're pretty stable, and you did level up recently, I remember saying that. So you've reached a good foundational spot in this new level that you've reached, which would absolutely facilitate healing for you. Now we do have the Ace of Wands in reverse, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, and we also have the Moon in reverse. And so um, something was revealed, something could have been revealed to you recently, Capricorn. It could be about someone that was in your life, um, represented here by the Page of Pentacles. Um, but I also feel like something that was revealed to you has changed your mind about something with the Ace of Wands in reverse. That's what I just heard. I was looking at the card and it was like, something changed your mind and is leading you in a new direction. 
I feel like the Four of Wands is saying that you have reached a point where you are able to come out of the dark about something. And it, have, it could potentially have to do with yourself. Something about yourself is going to be revealed to you. And it could be about like the Page of Pentacles. Um, a page of a page approach to physical reality, yeah. And now that has tra that is that is kind of like blown your mind a little bit. And so the Ace of Wands is like I'm seeing this as changing direction. It could also be a little bit blocked at the moment because you're just kind of like, oh shit, what do I do now? But I'm really not feeling like it's that bad of a thing. I'm actually feeling like it's much better than you would think or expect. And that could definitely be why I'm picking up on all that green healing energy for you. We have the Six of Wands in reverse. And we have oops, the Hermit in reverse. So um, lack of victory. Maybe putting on a brave face in the face of non-victory. Um, but this is has to do with the fact that you know, there has been no introspection here. There needs to be introspection. There needed to be introspection. And whatever that could have changed your mind about something, whatever that could have been revealed to you, could help you actually embark on this self-discovery that is necessary for you to be able to hold your head up high with the Six of Wands, yeah? We have the Eight of Cups in reverse with... The star in reverse. Something's been holding you back from reaching your dreams, from even healing. But it's that something that's been holding you back that you're refusing to walk away from. And the universe is saying to you, look, we're trying to guide you to where you need to go to get what you want. But you have to leave something behind first. Okay. We have the High Priestess with the Five of Cups. Okay, for some of you, um, there could have been something was illuminated, or something was shown to you, come, came out, was revealed with the with the Moon in reverse, um, and so now you're secretly, so now you're kind of like being secretive in how you're reacting to it. Um, with the High Priestess, uh, but you're not really going to mourn over that much anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. For some of you, you are communicating with your intuition, and so that's helping soften the blow a little bit. That's helping you um, move away from this mourning, mournful energy. Yeah, the high priest is here. Uh, she talks about secrets too, um, because she knows all, but she doesn't really say much. But she also speaks of intuition, okay, and abundance with the pomegranate here, um, the abundance of knowledge, really. Yeah, I'm just picking up that that you know something something was has been revealed to somebody. And um, they're not crying over it because their intuition is helping them understand the deeper message behind it. Next, we have the Two of Wands in reverse with the Page of Swords. So um, yeah, you may be having trouble, whoever we're talking to here, you're having trouble making a decision on which path to take. It's like you don't feel like you have enough, uh, uh, I was just gonna say energy. That could be it. Or you don't have enough information is what the page of sorts could be talking about in reverse. So that's why you're having trouble making this decision. We have the nine of pentacles with, ah, the chariot. Excellent. So this is a message of like confidence. You know, you're an independent person. Whoever we're talking about here is very independent. Has got their shit together, or at least uh, together enough to survive and thrive to a certain extent. And so the message here is of confidence to just go for it. Just get going. Because you've got the stability to back yourself up. So why not just do it? Right? 
Next, we have the Six of Pentacles with the Three of Swords. So, what is this talking about? The Six of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Because both of them are upright. So you could be in a period of some heartbreak. And I just heard a good amount of heartbreak too. That's entirely possible. Uh, the heartbreak obviously stems from an imbalance between give and take. I'm also hearing, I'm also hearing betrayal though, backstabbing. It's almost as if, now Capricorn, you can be pretty self-deprecating. So maybe you know, what's been happening has been like, you've been giving so much to everyone else and not really giving to yourself and it's betraying you. Maybe that's the, the, the realization you've come to. Next, we have the 10 of swords in reverse with ah, the three of cups. Interesting. So, I'm picking up already that you're in the you're at at the end of a cycle, and there's gonna be there could be some sort of community around you that can really help pull you out of this, pull you out of this ten of swords energy. You may have been in the ten of swords. I feel like for some of you, you like you live like you, your home base is ten of swords energy, and that's rough. But now socially, there there are some people out there that can really help you pull yourself out of this. Ten of Swords. Finally, we have the Hanged Man in reverse with the Seven of Cups. Um, the Hanged Man is self-imposed isolation um, and suspension in order to gain um, clarity and enlightenment. See things from a different point of view. Uh... You need to be doing this, Capricorn. You have the Hermit here, which is also in reverse, which is also about enlightenment, but this is about seeking inner truths and finding your inner light and letting that shine and bringing it forward. This, the Hanged Man, is about seeing things differently, but you're not doing that because you're caught up in all this illusion around you with the Seven of Cups. And that's not fair to yourself. That's what I was just hearing. That's what the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Swords is trying to tell you. That's not fair to yourself. Because ultimately, if you're caught up in all that illusion, you're really just living life for others. You're not living the life you were meant to live. The authentic expression you were meant to bring forward. You're, I, I really feel like some of you are getting caught up in um, what everyone else has to say or how everyone else view things or what would be pleasing to everyone else. Instead of living authentic authentically, like do you boo stop stop focusing so much on what are, what else is going on going on out here? Like don't worry about that shit. Ain't gonna do nothing for you. Eleven eleven. Ooh. All right, Capricorn. That was really quick. But there it is. <laughs> um, I hope this was helpful. Um, I yeah. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you for the first half of June. We are halfway through the year already, guys. This is crazy. All right. Much love to you guys. I'll speak with you soon. Bye.